dear friends i welcome all of you to this very interesting topic psoriasis channel to understand this topic of psoriasis we need to know two important primary skin lesions number 1 if there are solid raised lesions measuring less than 1 cm we call them as papules if these lesions are more than 1 cm we call them as plaques and see this image there is visible exfoliation of the stratum corneum and this is termed as scales now psoriasis is an autoimmune disease defined as a chronic t cell mediated inflammatory relapsing disease with a strong genetic basis characterized by complex alteration in epidermal growth and differentiation it's not only involved the skin it can also involve multiple systems moving on to the etiopathogenesis of psoriasis now in the etiopathogenesis of psoriasis number 1 we have cellular components in these cellular components we have th1 cells and th17 cells th1 is a t cell response th17 is also a t cell response these are contributing to the cellular components so what happen in psoriasis is th1 and th17 increases so this is a t cell disease now the genetic components hla cw6 remains strongly associated with psoriasis when found together with several different hla b rnas apart from this we have signaling molecules now these cells the th17 and the th1 are going to produce signaling molecules which are known as cytokines there are different kind of cytokines or the signaling molecules the th1 subset is going to produce interleukin 2 tnf alpha and interferon gamma these are the different cytokines produced by the th1 subset we move on to the th17 subset which is going to produce interleukin 17 and interleukin 22 so these are the important factors which are implied in the etiopathogenesis of psoriasis finally what we need to remember is in psoriasis there is increase in the pro inflammatory cytokine so since psoriasis is defined as a chronic inflammatory t cell disease all the cytokines which promote inflammation are listed below now let's look up to the different factors that triggers or worsens the psoriasis the first important factor is drugs now which are the various drugs which can worsen psoriasis number 1 lithium number 2 anti malarial drugs number 3 the drug which is used in management of hypertension that is beta blockers number 4 a drug which is commonly used as a painkiller that is ansids number 5 that is systemic steroids now let's talk about the infection talking about the infection what we need to remember here is group a beta hemolytic streptococci group a beta hemolytic streptococci can trigger one kind of psoriasis which is known as contact psoriasis another infection which can worsen psoriasis is hiv let's next look at the seasonal variation just like most of the skin disease psoriasis also worsens in the winter season and the last component we have to discuss here is substance abuse so in the substance abuse both alcohol consumption as well as cigarette smoking these are habits which can be a triggering factor for psoriasis moving on to the very important part of this topic pathogenesis of psoriasis when discussing pathogenesis of psoriasis we need to remember what happens to the epidermis over here epidermis shows hyper proliferation okay let us understand the pathogenesis of psoriasis starts with activation of antigen presenting cells in epidermis see although a specific psoriasis antigen has not yet been identified but the antigen is in epidermis an unknown peptide antigen triggering the immune activation of t cell this antigen is picked up by the langerhans cells these are the antigen presenting cells known as langerhans cells in the epidermis they take up and process the auto antigen and migrate to the regional lymph nodes in the regional lymph node where they come in contact with naive t lymphocytes within an immunologic synapse now 
द मोलिकुलर इंटरेक्शन रिजल्ट इन टी सेल प्रोडक्शन द लिम्फ नोट विल गिव यू टी एच वन एंड टी एच सेवनटीन सेल टी हेल्पर वन एंड टी हेल्पर सेवनटीन सो अ लोट ऑफ टी सेल विल कम आउट ऑफ योर लिम्फ नोट नाउ डू यू रियलाइज दैट टी सेल हैव टू गो बैक टू द एपिडर्मिस नाउ हाउ विल दे गो बैक दे विल यूज दीज ब्लड वेसल्स बट यूजली द ब्लड वेसल्स आर वेरी थिन you cannot push in so many t cells through this very thin blood vessels so what the blood vessel ultimately does it become thick and dilated so very early sign of psoriasis is a dilated blood vessel in the dermis now it is a horizontal blood vessel which has become dilated see where is the antigen the antigen is here and the t cell are here in the blood vessels can you see it is quite far away from each other so what will happen the blood vessel which is horizontal it is becoming vertical now and the vertical blood vessel pushing up the dermal papilla wanting to go up and now the t cell will come out now lymphocytes are coming out and are taking the antigen and this lymphocyte will inflame the epidermis once within the dermis there is a t cell reactivation by the second exposure to antigen present in dermis and epidermis following their transmigration into the skin these memory t cells encountered antigen presenting cell they undergo a secondary activation known as reactivation a major step in the development of psoriasis see the basal cell start dividing too much so much of basal cell division and that gives you the parakeratosis and hyperkeratosis see understand this there is something known as epidermal transient time which changes in psoriasis so epidermal transit time means to go from stratum basal to stratum corneum the time taken in normal person is 28 days whereas what happen in patient of psoriasis in the patient of psoriasis due to this epidermal hyper proliferation the whole process happens very fast and it shorten to a mere 3 to 5 days so this is all about the pathogenesis